I'm going to show you one sample exam questions which may be useful for you for your assignment question 2. Now this question I have actually picked from the past year's paper uh, which came out in the January 2008 part B. So in this question, we are asked to solve the equations using the inverse matrix. So the first step is to convert this equation into the matrix form AX equals to B. So the first thing is to copy and arrange this equation starting with X followed by Y and then Z. In order to convert into a matrix equation, we have to look at the multiple of x. In this case, 1x, the multiple is 1. And then the, here, the multiple of x is 1 and this is 2. Therefore, we take out 1, 1 and 2. And then for multiple of y, we have 1y, negative 1y and negative 1y. So we will write here as 1, negative 1 and negative 1. And finally for z, we have 1z, 1z and 3z. So we will take out 1, 1 and 3 and then multiply by x, y, z. And then on the right hand side, we will write down the number 6, 2, 6. So that is step number 1. Step number two, you have to find the determinant of A. So we will start off with the matrix A. Alright? To find the determinant of A, copy the original matrix and then copy the first two columns here. Okay? And then draw the line, the blue lines and the red lines. Okay? So the next step is to multiply all the elements on the blue line. So we have 1 times negative 1 times 3 here, plus 1 times 1 times 2, you write it here, plus 1 times 1 times negative 1. Then minus the elements on the red lines. So we have 2 times negative 1 times 1, we write here, plus negative 1 times 1 times 1, followed by 3 times 1 times 1. Okay? Now the next step is to simplify the bracket in blue, which is 1 times negative 1 times 3 equals to negative 3, 1, 1, 2 give us 2, 1, 1, negative 1 will give us negative 1, minus the bracket in red, 2 times negative 1 times 1 will give us negative 2, negative 1 times 1 times 1 equals to negative 1, and 3 times 1 times 1 equals to 3, and then when we simplify further, the bracket on the left is equal to negative 2, the bracket on the right is 0, therefore the determinant of A is equal to negative